I've always been interested in, in language learning. Teaching and learning has, has been part of my family. It's always something that has fascinated me. We don't make a lot of money. Um, we're underpaid, as you know. We do this because we love it, and we love it because we get the chance to work with young people and, and to see that what you do has an impact on them. You can see how it changes them. I remember one very good student, very committed. He was with us for a year, he did his first year of his master's program, and then he was called to Iraq. So he sat down with me before he left and he said, what do you think I could do? And I said, I don't know, really. I mean, it's a, it's a very difficult situation that you're gonna be in. But you know, there's always the possibility to do a, an independent study. And I was, I was convinced that he wouldn't be able to do anything, but we sat down and decided what he was going to do, agreed on some readings, and he left. He was able to, to do the work and do an excellent job, and at the end of the semester um, he sent me a postcard and a photo of him in one of those armored vehicles with all his gear on and one of the books that I had given him to, to read. Here's this guy who's in a life and death situation every single day, day in and day out, in, in what's probably the most challenging environment that you can think of, and he still has the energy, the will, and the time to read linguistic stuff and write about it and communicate with me and complete a semester, you know, from 5,000 miles away. And that was a, a, a big lesson that I learned. When we teach on a university campus, you're very limited in terms of who your audience can be. Canvas Network changes all of that because it opens it up to the entire world. So what I do is now accessible to everyone and anyone. I'm Fernando Rubio. And Canvas Network allows me to reach a larger audience and basically do what I do, but bigger and better.